Hello everyone, my name of course is Sartor Red Phoenix and this is the Battlefield Top 5 Plays episode number 9. I do apologise, there wasn't a top plays consistently last week. I had a bit... I was busy basically, I had a lot of things to do and I didn't have time to record the episode. Um, I could have got it out later in the week but I thought, you know what, for consistency we'll keep the top plays for Battlefield, uh, for the PC edition anyway, for the Monday. Um, and we're gonna take it from there. So anyways, enough of the jibber jabber, let's get on with the show. So the winner from episode number 8 was Nuki Pro Swabber. Now I have been informed that Nuki is a female, so guys calm down, don't start pestering her. She's a woman, they are real. Well done. Kicking us off for this week's show, we have Vinsan HD. Now, I've recently just uploaded the montage for so if you've not seen that, it's called The Days, get your ass in gear and watch that video. So anyway, Vinsan is going to do this. Boom. Gets one jet. No fucking around with Vinsan. You're going to go down. Muscle memory kicks in and boom. And number two. Two shots out the tank. Vinsan does not fire blanks. Well done, my friends. Carry on the good work. For this week, representing the Nova clan, we have Bentley. Or Nova Bentley, maybe you want to do it. He's Grandpa Bentley in this. So Bentley is on epicenter on the Battlefield 3. He's armed with SVD 98, as you see, he's got a double kill. He's now on the rampage with 3. He does catch this little guy. Now, I can all imagine this young man's AFK texting his missus saying that she's going to get wrecked. And now he's receiving end of a call between his teeth. Bentley carries on here, just mopping up left, right, and center. These guys have been flanked, and now they're getting totally, utterly fucked up. Unfortunately, good things must come to an end. That's 11, well done. For Cup 3 this week, representing the Nova clan, we have the Greek. The Greek is playing Rush on, I think it's Dawnbreaker. Pressure is, like any superhero, you have to parachute in first. This superhero comes with death. He's armed here with his MG4 just mopping up these little campers on the hill. Who are just serving a purpose just to piss Greek off. So, his operation and his little comrade, who's at the corner who you're about to see, is really just mop these guys up so his friends can be shot and blow the shit out of the MCOM. As you can see, he is standing on the upper level floor of the rooftop where the MCOM is based. So, he's just becoming the biggest pain in the arse ever on the battlefield. He's done his work, he's shown off his little kill streak there. And he's fapping away at his kill to death ratio in this match as a whole. So now again, he has parachuted in like any good superhero does. This man is a beast. He is pushing for the B. He loves the B and the D. He's just taken out with a woke whistle, plants the MCOM, plants that guy into his grave. And now people are setting off fireworks. It's all good in the hood. There's a lot of party going on. They're all getting in here. They're all getting groovy. The groovy gang are in next to the B. Yeah. Well done, Nova. Uh, oh, for fuck's sake. Well done. For cut two this week, we're in everyone's favourite destination, Operation Lusterfuck. And we're with, uh, I'm not sure what it's, Tuki, Tukasai, or Tuka, or Tukasai, as I'm calling it, a bit of a fuck. Anyway, he's armed here with his 870 shotgun, which I fucking love. And he's just blowing fools in half. He has pushed through to lockers, where we all know you will get probably sliced into these out of pieces. And then a quick kit switch there again to pick up the scar, blowing up the tugs, back to his trusty 870 shotgun. He just didn't have the time, he didn't have the will, and Tucker ended his life. Amazing rampage, my friend. Well done. For Cup 1 this week, we have It's Hawk. It's Hawk is one of the most consistent players that I've had to make content to me. And unfortunately, he's not been lucky enough to win yet. Not that I'm trying to influence your thoughts. But anyway, It's Hawk is on a fucking Dawnbreaker and he's going to take us to school. Now, this is an operation on how to play Team Deathmatch. He has flanked under the underpass here. These two people are kissing. No kissing in the underpass, guys. Okay. Especially when Hawk's got an answer from one. So he has armed here with his AEK 971, he has flanked him in the back, and he's really just going to push forward, he's going to take the higher ground, um, and pick people off. 
Now, the thing about this and the thing about Battlefield as a whole is that enough people don't pay attention oh, to man, the mini map. That. Now, I'm not taking anything away from Hawk, this is a great piece of um, offensive play. But, zero. come on, guys, pay attention to your mini map. See the minute or the second or the, the, the inkling you've got. Like a little so orange dot, like a little really. orange triangle pointing behind you that shoot the thing. Fucking kill it! That should be your operative term. Just kill that fucker. Otherwise, this shit is gonna happen to you guys constantly. Again, I'm not taking away from it's Hawk. This is this is just Hawk all over. I get content from him all the time, where he just moseys on behind you guys and just cut you in half. So he is moving on up here. He is gonna go for a massive kill streak, 24 in total. And as you can see, he's he's moving selectively through cover. He's not just running out in the middle of nowhere. And sure enough, Blending. where you find a corner, you're gonna be fucking Especially in TDM. He quickly made dispatches those three. That guy was in shock. He just thought the ghost of pop past came and popped them up. He has pushed through the building, which is a bit dangerous, but he's peeking through the corner and firing. Um, which is your turn fire like, just as you leave the corner. Look up, look up, pre fire, guys. Come on, you should know this by now. These guys are in a little bit of action out here. He's been the team player that he is. He's firing out a little main pack. He's going to reload, regather his thoughts, and push forward again for another three. See, I push through the front here. Another recon, Taris, Taurus. Come on, man. Come on. Play aggressive or don't play at all. Hawk did get a little bit distracted there, which did slightly lead to his demise, not before uh, he traded his shot and broke on. But his guys are behind him, his team oh are behind God, him. He oh uses a combo road. This guy uses a combo road. Fucking hell, man. Um, and he's back up again. Um, he's carried on the same route as he did before, which is a key thing. Clear that route. If it works, don't break it. Um, and yeah, he's just going to go back through the same route again and just into the tiny, tiny it gives this guy the fright of his life. Um, I think he's lucky that the guy was reloading at the time and Hawk almost got caught with his pants. So that wraps up Hawk's quick four kill streak. Amazing, my friend. Well done. So that brings us to the end of the top five players, episode number nine. As always, please leave your winner in the poll below. Comments do not count. If you want to comment, Please feel free, but make sure you get your vote in the poll. As always, submit your clips to Sergeant Red Top 5 Players at gmail.com. Otherwise, I can't make a video with them and all that stuff. Um, I have been sent a bunch of Battlefield 4 hoodies, posters, and stuff. Um, so instead of doing an uh, every four or five week uh, master giveaway, I may do for a couple of weeks some given it's coming up for Christmas. Um, some hoodie giveaways for the winners. Um, I need to see what stock count I've got and how many I've got. So expect a further update on that uh, next week. So anyways, thank you for watching. As always, I have been Sardware Phoenix. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.